Uh, let's talk about a subject I think everyone's uh, faced. Um, let's talk about being doubted, right? When someone discredits your capabilities, doubts you, think doesn't think you're capable of doing something. How do you guys handle that? It depends on the scenario. Depends on the like environment that I'm in. If it's at work or if it's like, I don't know, a social setting or like my mind goes straight to team sports because I'm, I'm like horrified to, to play soccer on a team. So that's my own um, doubting. But I usually, and I feel like I already did it, um, resort to some sort of humor or like satire and, and like self-mockery um, when it's not like self-deprecating and it's not like damaging to myself. So let's use an example of something you think you're good at, like your job. Uh, say you're, you know, you're good at art, you think you're good, but someone says, no, nah, you're not good enough. How do you handle that? When there's something that you believe you're good at, you're, you, you know, you've done a good job, right. you think you're doing a good job, but your manager comes and tells you that, mm, I don't know, we're going to go with someone else instead. Um, I th- like that happens constantly as well. Mm-hmm. I, like people don't know you as well as you know yourself. So it's just a matter of you taking every, I'm with him. Okay. Feedback is important, but take it with a grain of salt. It might just be that you're in the wrong, you're on the wrong team or, you know, they're, they're analyzing the wrong skill set that you thought you were going to bring to the team. Mm -hmm. Um, And also it's kind of like an opportunity to be like, Ooh, challenge accepted. Like I'm going to dive in and show you what I can do and, and maybe prove you wrong um, to a certain extent. How about you, Keisha? Do you also do that? Someone doubts you, says that you're not good enough. Does that drive you? Does it make you, make you angry? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> a- angry or, or drive you? No, it drives me. It doesn't make me angry. I mean, internally, I probably curse them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and be like, who the hell? Who do you think you are? Right. And the human nature in me, but like, you know, internally pick apart their weaknesses. But then once, <laughs> that's as a like that's sort um i do and if you say you don't do that mm, i don't believe you because <laughs> but um once i get past <laughs> that initial like anger of like how dare you think i'm not capable um then it turns into i am going to prove you wrong yeah. and i will get satisfaction out of showing you that <laughs> while you doubted me i am capable of whatever it is you said what I happens when, when, when you've proven to them that, hey, I belong or I, I did a good job, uh-huh. but they discredit you again and then they, they don't value your, you know, what you came out with? Um, but then at that point, I, I guess it depends on who it is, <laughs> because if it's somebody who's like my manager and I report to them or, you know, my manager's manager and they have influence in whether I get a promotion or a raise um then i will i will try again to kind of win them over Mm -hmm. because sometimes it could just be a personality thing it could be that maybe we just don't gel well together and so i will try to uh readjust how i interact with them and pay attention to the way they like to maybe receive information or pay attention to how they engage with other people who they seem to gel well with and i'm not gonna change or be fake um who i am i'm always going to stay true to who i am but i may um alter you know the way i deliver things or the way Mm -hmm. i present things to them so that it will resonate more with them have you faced this severe in your life oh yeah and immediate reaction i would say yes it bothers me right after like okay what are you talking about (laughs) and how you process that thing there are two ways to do it one you react immediately, which you should not. Mm -hmm. And I learned that over the years. Okay, you know what? My reaction should not be impulse reaction. Like right right away, something has been said that I'm capable. I know I'm capable of, but being challenged. And then you try to process it. And then you come back around all the points that you said, Sure, that, yeah, prove yourself. Come back up again. And if you're being doubted again, again, who is doubting you? It matters. Are you in the wrong place? Are you in the wrong mm-hmm. team? Mm-hmm. And uh, come back around. And uh, sometimes not to that particular point that doubting, try to show them the other capabilities, other activities that you have done with a proven track record that you have. Mm-hmm. That probably would help. And if that doesn't work, then obviously there is a personality conflict, if I may, mm-hmm. that is at play here. So what, right. what happens if, for example, your uh, boss doubts you and 
you know, has it ever made you want to quit, leave the job because you felt that, hey, I've put in all this time and energy into this company. I've worked long hours. I've worked, yeah. uh, you know, I, I've done, you know, be on the call of duty and they don't appreciate it. Has, has that ever happened to any of you guys where you at least either you've quit or, you know, really, really thought long and hard about quitting? Yeah, I, the thought of quitting do come in mind. And the thing is that that's your impulsive reaction. And question is, is it repetitive happening over and over? That's when you know that, okay, you're not at the right place. And that decision is that, okay, I want to quit because it's not fitting well. It, thinking a big picture is important, not just that moment exactly what happened or what capability is questioned. Big picture that if it doesn't fit, then I think it's, it's taking it with a grain of salt and thinking it over and so that you make more informed and educated decision and just not just a hot headed. Okay, I'm walking out. You guys ever uh, going to like, you know what, I'm going to show like, not I'm going to show them, I'm just going to leave and let them feel, you know, how, how it is without me. Have you guys ever done that or felt that? When I, was, when I was younger, yeah, and I have left organizations, not on impulse. Like I've never been like, I quit. Right. I've never oh, done don't that. Don't you? I want to do that. I want to do that, <laughs> I I want to do that like 50 times. Oh, yeah. like, just you know to have the experience. Yeah. We all have that moment, yeah. right? <laughs> but like, you know, if after, I, and I've done, if after like, you know, a couple years where I feel like I'm getting mixed messages where I'll get a, a good performance review, but when it comes time for a promotion, I feel like if I'm passed over, cause, and sometimes it could be they, they like the fact that I'm doing the job that I'm doing so well and they, they want to keep me in that position. So you, you have to look at all the factors, but I have... Um, um, resigned and thinking, oh, when I was younger, yes, um, they're going to to miss me. And yeah, you know, once I got into management, my team misses me, like the last job I had before this one. Um, after I resigned, um, they created a WhatsApp group and they call it the Key Hive because I'm a big Beyonce fan. <laughs> <laughs> and so they're messaging me, like sure. they message me all the time. I know what's going on in their life. Mm. They'll message me for career advice. They'll message me because, you know, just to see how I'm doing. Um, but I am I know that everybody, like, yes, you're important. You did a good job and, I, and they miss me. And I know that I had an impact to their life. But I know in the grand scheme of things, everyone is replaceable at an organization. So right. when I was younger, I'd be like, oh, you're going to think that you're going to meet, you're going to see. You leave and they get the next person on. and they, they move on. Right. <laughs> Alex, have you ever had a situation where, you know, you were doubted and you disagreed? And it so happened that a hot, like a year later, a couple of years later, you realize that, you know what, they were right. You ever faced that situation? <laughs> oh, shit. Pro probably yeah have you ever admitted uh, it have you gone back to uh the person that doubted you and said you know what i i thought about it i, I disagreed with you at the beginning but <clears throat> i think i think you're right i um okay my like my memory's shot i would not be able to be like oh yeah two years ago i thought it would go this way mm -hmm. and i like banked on that and i and i <laughs> quit and now i regret saying that but I'm the first to admit if I've made a mistake. Mm -hmm. So like I have no shame in making mistakes because I like I I only learn from that. Sure. And when people kind of hide their mistakes, I uh, that's kind of a little bit of a red flag for me. Sure. Um, I th I'm trying to think like a specific scenario, but I mean today I made a mistake, and I immediately was like, oh, boss, big boss, mm -hmm. medium boss, like sure. teammate, I up right now right. like can you the, can the three of you jump on and help me mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. we'll still make our deadline sure so i think as long sure. as you have like the confidence to admit that's when another... you like have faltered and then ask for help right or have some sort of action plan to to like right the wrong that's usually when you find some sort of success yeah, yeah i think i think it's a, a very important factor if someone you know when you when you make a mistake you need to own up to it i see that often Maybe another topic for another podcast, but um, that is a, as you said, is a red flag of mine when so someone constantly, you know, hides their mistake or, you know, mm -hmm. never admits when they're mis they make a mistake. And it's hard mm -hmm. to work with that person when, when they keep uh, denying it. Yeah. Um, it's so much easier just to admit it and just move on. Mm -hmm. um, I think people forgive. They might be grumpy for uh, 20 minutes or 10 minutes, but after that, okay, whatever. <laughs> but when, when you're denying it, 
all their energy is like, I'm going to prove that you're, you know, you, you made a mistake. And yeah. they spend all this time and energy and it's a cat and mouse game and your credibility goes, right? Eventually you're going to get caught and it doesn't end well. So I think you're absolutely right. Admit the mistake. I also think there is a benefit. I, I have had situations in my career where, um, you know, they, they doubt me or maybe they, they discredited my capability. Uh, I disagreed. Um, and sometimes, yes, I used it to prove them wrong. And sometimes, you know, I ended up on top. Sometimes I realized that, you know what, they were right. Um, and it took me some time to, to realize it. And I went back to them and said, you know what, I, I remember, remember a year ago, two years ago, X time of, uh, you know, a long time ago, you told me this and you might have forgotten, but I hadn't. And this is what happened. But, I, you know, later on this happened and I realized you were right. I think that builds credibility as well. And I've, I've done that. Um, Obviously, you want to be right more often than wrong, but I think there's always uh, situations where you could take it for a positive. I think most times, most managers are are pretty genuine in terms of the feedback. They're not, you know, might seem like they're, you know, there's a conspiracy against you, but often it's not. It's probably your imagination or, or as Patrick said in one of the previous podcasts, like I forgot the Dunn-Kruger effect or something where... You might not know all all that exists. You might only know the the area that you already you only know. And when someone else knows the full picture or more of the picture, they're giving you feedback. It could be for the better. Mm -hmm. So I think it works in in all cases. Any final thoughts on this topic? Well, I thought actually that's kind of a good point because it's it's the perception of doubt. So like you're you're receiving this like vibe that they're doubting your ability, but you don't know what they're thinking and like they're thinking bigger picture maybe i'm like mm -hmm. in this scenario this is the boss that's doubting you sure. they're connecting this specific project that like you want to do with the bigger picture of the company plan that they might not have presented to the team yet right and they're they're like maybe they're not doubting your capability they're doubting the project and if it fits you know the game plan for the next two years right so right. i mean there's always those kind of factors you have to consider as well it's, it might not be you at all it might just be the fit with it, the company or the project or the team yeah no absolutely and i think the first reaction is for us to think that okay they're wrong there's a conspiracy they're they're <laughs> doubting me but i think ultimately uh i think most times you're right i think yeah. it's it's the bigger picture that you might not be seeing so i think it's best to channel that for positive mm -hmm. 